Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to bring you a video today, um, specifically um, showcasing this uh, display tank. Um, this is actually the two year anniversary month of the tank since I built it. And I must say everything's been doing good. I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, messages through my Facebook and a couple of comments of people just wanting to see exactly what this tank's looking like instead of a clip here and there. And when I went back through my video archives, I kind of realized that I don't have a, a recent video just kind of showcasing the tank. So here it is, guys. Um, it's going to be a lot of coral shots, a lot of tank shots, um, some, some overhead shots. And I'll just kind of talk about, you know, what's going on here. Um, you know, as you can see, the SPS are growing really well. Um, the toadstool is finally bouncing back. We'll get some close-ups of that guy here uh, shortly. Um... So the tank has uh, officially been running two years with no problems and uh, no leaks. That's been uh, one of the biggest things I've been battling since I uh, since I built this tank. There's been a, it's been a controversial thing since I built this tank. People keep telling me it's going to blow apart, and and it's all within the method that I I built this tank. Uh, people apparently don't like how I built the tank, <laughs> but trust me, guys. When I built this tank before I even bought glass or anything. Um, I, I did my work, I did my research, and I, I called tank manufacturers, I called silicone companies, you know, people that manufacture silicone. This wasn't something that I just decided, let me go buy a whole bunch of glass and see what happens. I, I did my work on this one. So, anyways, the, the tank has not ever sprung a leak, it, it shows no signs of weakness, I'm not nervous about standing in front of it or, you know, standing in front of it with my kid or anything like that. You can see here this clip, I'm just kind of showing that uh, I started to take some corals off the rock before they started encrusting any more onto the rocks and uh, got them on the frag rack at the bottom of the tank right now. Um, I'm just starting to get prepped for uh, the tank swap. So pretty soon there'll, there'll be a little bit less rock in here and uh, more corals on the frag rack until we get the uh, fish room build done. Here I'm finally able to showcase this red dragon for you guys. I'm only running two uh, bulbs on the ATI fixture right now out of the eight. Um, one being an aqua blue special and the other one is a um, blue plus. If I turned any of the other ones on, um, everything would be washed out. There's that ice fire echinata, there's the Hawkins echinata in the middle. And then in the very background there, that's called a midnight stag and it looks nice nowadays. Green slimer and the pets ink acro looking good tricolor Valeta I think it is and then uh, the good old Garf Bonsai that thing is a monster it grows so fast it's a good coral if you guys uh, want a beginner Acropora that Garf Bonsai is a beast and that's the uh, Monty Spongodes starting to grow all over the uh, hammer coral <laughs> And just a Scalimia, a couple of Scalimias actually. My Trachophilia, you guys can see the skeleton there. It uh, has seen better days. Here's my Meteor Shower Cyphastria that has, I don't know, grown 40 times from the little frag plug that it was on. <laughs> it pretty much took up this whole rock now. And just some random coral shots for you guys. I'm hoping you're uh, enjoying the video. It's, I know it's going to be a little long and listening to me ramble throughout the whole thing. That's a uh, rainbow Pocillopora. Here's that chalice I'm having a little bit of an issue with and this is why I needed to test my water. Um, so you guys know that I, I posted that video. This tank had um, no nitrates in it, no nitrites, no ammonia. And uh, <clears throat> the reason for testing my water was because I had a sneaking suspicion that it was uh, a little too clean for my softies because I was having some problems with the softies. Um, primarily my big, uh, my big toadstool. There's the Euphelia Garden. Uh, that's probably by far one of the most popular items in my tank is uh, the Euphelia Garden. I get more comments about this than I do anything else in my tank is the Euphelia. People love this thing and I gotta say I love it too. Looks really good, adds a lot of movement. And uh, this video is kind of inspired by uh, CJ's Aquariums. I saw his video about how he does his uh, tank videos, and I was like, I think I want to, think I want to bust out the tripod and uh, put together this video for you guys. So, <laughs> thanks for the inspiration, man. <laughs> 
here's the uh, the top down shots kind of just give you a look at what the corals look like from the top because this is where they're the most colorful this is where the lights hitting them the most and this is where they really uh, are really standing out there's that green slime are growing like a beast you guys remember how big that Monty cap was when I got it. it was about the size of a dime <laughs> so everything's doing good There you go, that thing's tabling really good. That's that's one of my favorite milliporas in the tank. That thing grows so fast and, and the growth pattern of it is nice. I really like this uh this piece. That was a little tiny frag about six, seven months ago. <laughs> There's that midnight stag. Really unique. It's got a purple base and then uh it's got this wicked little uh like blue rim and blue tips on everything. It's nice. There's that red dragon. And right next to that is the uh, strawberry lemonade. Kind of hard to see. I had to use something to kind of cover the light so I could show you these corals from the top. So that's what the... I'm using a little candy box, actually. <laughs> and there's that frag rack there with all the corals that I've took off. Finally got a light that'll showcase a little bit how my uh, purple stylo looks. That thing is incredible. Also, another fast-growing, easy-to-care-for coral. And that's the uh, the green stylo. And there's uh, here's all the stuff that I've taken off the rocks so far. We've got the Miyagi Tort, uh, the Forest Fire Digi. That thing goes through some weird phases. We've got the Pearl Berry to the right and a uh, Red Planet right there to the left, and you know a couple encrusting ones. And there you go, big old green Pasilipora. Not sure what this what this coral is, but right below that is a blue dragon. I'm just kind of I pick up corals every now and then just to see what they'll do in my tank, what they'll color up to be. There's another piece of red planet there with the uh, tricolor Veleda and the Garf Bonsai, and just a, some more random corals. I don't know what they are. There's a Spongodes looking down at it. That thing is a monster. Tell you what, when you uh, oh, there's the Mystic uh, Sunset. I don't get to show that one too much because it's hard to hard to see. It grows behind the rocks, uh, encrusting Monty. Yeah, that looks nice. There's the Euphelia Garden from the top down. The joke is with some of my LFS is that uh, I have more Euphelia than they carry in their shop. <laughs> yeah, things are growing real nice. It's, it's gonna it's gonna be sad to break this tank down. And there you go, guys. I do have fish in my tank. <laughs> Not a ton, but I have some. And here's the uh, the toadstool coming back to life. It was all full of algae. It was all shriveled up looking like it was going to die and my wife kept telling me it's dead it's dead and I said no it's not dead it's just going through a phase that's what these leathers do every now and then so what I did is I start I started kind of dirtying up the water I started feeding refroids every other night and monitoring my nitrates I got them I got a little bit of color into the water and uh, are into the test kit and it did still not registering as anything super high but when I did that it started bouncing back so that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.